Hey, what's up everybody, Platform Disciple here. I have a couple more spoiler cards from the War of the Spark set that'll be coming out this month. And I wanted to quickly mention that I no longer plan on doing spoilers for literally every card because uh, they're coming out at a pretty quick rate and a lot of the cards are not worth talking about. So I am going to focus on the ones that are most worth talking about. So today I'm bringing you two cards that I think are going to have massive impacts competitively, either in standard or potentially even in eternal formats, beginning with Vivian's Arcbow, which reminds me of both Aether Vial and Collected Company, which are two cards that have been historically, you know, some of the most powerful cards ever printed. Now, what makes it similar to these is that it allows you to put creatures into play during your opponent's turn. That's the, the commonality that all of these have. But uh, what makes it similar to Aether Vial is that after it is in play, the creature that you get can't be countered, which is a big deal against control decks. And because they are artifacts, this effect is reusable. Now, what makes it similar to Collected Company is that the card is actually coming from your library, which is interesting. Now, both of those cards are very powerful. I don't think Vivian's Arcbow is going to chalk up to either of those, but it, 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 may, it does a pretty good imitation at falling somewhere in between. It allows you to discard a card, presumably one that you don't really need, and get a creature that could be massively impactful at the time you get it out. That creature can't be countered. You can do it during your opponent's turn, like when they're attacking, to flash in a creature and block. Or you can flash it in at the end step so that your opponent has really no opportunity to react to the card before it can then attack them or have some kind of you know, enter the battlefield effect, or really anything like that, seems like it's definitely a card that is on the radar for having competitive viability, at least as a sideboard card against control decks because it allows you to bypass counterspells if you get it out early. And the next card is Tefri Time Raveler, and this card is a 100 billion percent going to see standard play and maybe play in other formats as well because of his passive effect which prevents your opponents from being able to really take advantage of their instance at all so if you manage to pull this card out during a control matchup or a control mirror matchup you've basically won the game because the weakness of Planeswalkers usually is that they get attacked, but against control decks, control decks don't tend to run very many creatures, if any creatures at all, uh, and in that case, they have no easy way to kill Tefri once he's on the battlefield, and because you've turned off their ability to play instants, suddenly every counter spell they have is a dead card that they will never really be able to take advantage of. And there isn't much... Uh, historical reference for this card to like judge its power because the only other card with this effect as far as I know was the original creature version of Tefri and that card although the effect is very powerful because he is a creature he is a lot easier to kill uh, control decks and really most decks in general are going to be prepared to have creature removal but it's not easy to kill a planeswalker generally speaking unless you are running a creature based strategy so this card i don't know whether it'll be main decked or not because to be honest his actual abilities are not as impactful as some other things may be but his passive effect is game winning if you are playing against a control deck and that wraps up those two cards. Those are two that I definitely think you should have your eye out for competitively. I will bring more updates if I see any other cards that really strike me as just egregiously powerful. But until next time, everybody, peace out.